So um, I went ahead and added another category and um, just uh, if you go ahead and go to the list products you can see that those were added now to the categories list and then also when I add a product um, those are part of the pull down. It's getting this information uh, to populate this pull down from the database which is really cool because then that means we don't have to keep going in and, and making changes to that as categories are added. So again what we want to do now is add the delete um, the delete button and so the first part of that is to add the code uh, for the form on the um, list page and then we have to go in and edit the um, the PHP code that that actually makes it happen and um, after you delete then it, you want it to take you back to the page that you started on so um, let's go back to our list categories and this is the way it looks right now I just put the word delete in there and um, so now we're going to replace that bit with a form. Now in order for delete to work um, we we need to identify which record to delete and for that we need the um, primary key which in this case the primary key is category ID. Notice this is um, lowercase category capital I and capital D. So let's go back to um, Dreamweaver and what I want to do is if I just uh, go to the index.php I can just copy and paste this code and um, I want to get the whole form and um, let's just go into code view so that you can see what you're doing here so the whole form is what's going inside that TD and it's sending values to the PHP file that does the processing it's sending the values um, as hidden um, values so they don't you don't see those on the form. So I'm again I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to go to my category list and um, and then I'm going to go into code view and paste that in. So instead of the word delete I want to put in this form from the other page. Now we don't need the product ID nor do we even have it. All we need is um, the category ID and um, so that's coming from this um, this this right here category, not from um, product. So we need to change that. Um, so notice this bit right here, this echo. It's just the same as um, as what we did here to pr to echo out the category name, except we're echoing out the category ID instead. And so this is going to be passed to um, the form action and um, it's being passed with the name category underscore ID. Now remember that we want to go to delete category and not to delete product so I'm just gonna paste that in that's the form action and so I, I believe that this is ready now it's this is this part's ready so I'm gonna save it and then the second part is that I need to go and edit the delete category page and the first thing that I want to do is um, instead of going back to the index page we want to go back to the category list page I mean that doesn't have to be the first thing you do but it works for me okay so here what we're doing is um, we're getting the IDs or the ID we only need one for this um, and um, and then we're going to go ahead and and delete the category from the database again we need to connect to the database if we're not already connected and then um, and then we need to change this code to reflect what it is um, that we're trying to delete and that should do it. So I'm going to save this and then we can um, give it a test. So I'm going to go back here and then just hit my F12 to um, 
to refresh this. And then notice that now I have these delete keys in here. So I can go ahead and um, test by adding a category and then deleting it. Now don't delete these first three categories when you're testing because those are being used um, for products that are already in the database and you'll mess everything up if you delete those. But if you add some you know, nonsense categories and delete them, you'll be able to test this and make sure that it works.